today we're checking out some new display options for your Apple II from Reactive Micro. Warm up the LCD, it's time for another episode. Reactive Micro's new products aim to give you a high quality replacement option for your aging CRTs without taking up any internal slots. Do they live up to this aim? Well, perception of video quality to some extent is subjective, so I'm just going to show you what the products do and leave the decision up to you. First up is the 12 inch LCD display. Connecting the monitor is easy. Just plug in the video cable, plug in the power, plug the cable into the monitor, and turn it on. The monitor kit comes with the monitor, of course, a high quality composite cable, and HDMI cable, a right angle HDMI adapter, and a remote to make changing modes easier. It even has speakers and audio inputs, so you could use it as a general purpose monitor if you wanted to. Next is the mini AV to HDMI video adapter, intended to be used with an HDMI monitor you already own. The AV to HDMI adapter comes with the adapter itself, power cable, HDMI cable and composite cable as well as a Phono to RCA stereo audio cable. My first impression is that Reactive Micro has done a good job sourcing the products. But there are a couple things that plague them, and pretty much all products like it. First is the visible banding in graphics modes. This happens because of how the Apple II generates color video, and is going to show up no matter what solution you use. I feel that on their 12-inch monitor, the double high resolution graphics are almost too crisp, but probably that's just my personal preference. The AV to HDMI adapter has softer output than the monitor. 
In graphics modes, this helps better emulate the CRT experience, but it's not so good for mixed text modes. There's also some pixel shimmer in all modes that you just don't see while using the Reactive Micro monitor. Henry Corbis of Reactive Micro has spent quite a bit in time and research contacting vendors to get a solution that works better than your standard off-the-shelf Chineseium products. In addition, Henry takes the time to set up the monitor optimally and includes all the cables you might need. Having a remote is a nice feature, and good quality cables is a plus. He even drops a right angle adapter right in with the monitor to make accessing the HDMI output easy. The HDMI adapter, in my opinion, doesn't do as good a job as the monitor by itself, but it's better than what many of the common LCD security monitors and even many TVs can do on their own, so that's a bonus. The final question is cost. The small LCD monitor that I carry in my backpack as a mobile console for fixing servers has okay quality on composite input and only cost me $99, but it also didn't come with any cables. Considering the quality, the included accessories, and Reactive Micro's known dedication to the Apple II community, I'd say their monitor product is a good value. The AV to HDMI adapter feels just right on the price point as well, especially considering it comes with high quality cables. Final thoughts? Well, if you're looking for a modern LCD replacement for your Apple II computer, I don't think you can really find a better solution out there than Henry's solution. The price is a little on the steep side, but if you hunt around on Amazon, you're not going to find anything much cheaper, and you're definitely not going to find anything that's as good or comes with cables. So, I think it's a good value for your money. But before I go, have one final taste of what this monitor can do. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on my latest adventures. You can also support me through Patreon or by snagging some merch. Links in the description. Well, that's all for today's episode. While you're here, check out some of my other videos. And remember, 8 bits are all you need.